Welcome back to day 40 of the Coronavirus Break Vlogs. I'm your host, Garrett, and today is April 24th. It's a Friday. I know you guys might be lost in your days like I am and have to look at a calendar day to day, so that's why I wanted to throw out it's a Friday. It's the end of the week. Another week's gone by here in uh, quarantine and the shutdown of uh, all the non-essential businesses, I guess. So uh, it's still going. It's really long and really boring, but hopefully in the next month or two we'll start to see this virus diminish and places opening back up and life slowly returning back to a new kind of normal. Uh, that's what we can hope for, really. And Now, on to the West Virginia uh, coronavirus news. There are now 1,010 cases. It went over the 1,000 uh, mark uh, between yesterday's video and today's video, but there are now 32,000 people that's been tested, so that shot up a good bit. So now the uh, percentage from positive to negative is only 3.1%, which is a lot, well, not a lot lower, but a good deal lower than yesterday. And it's just been going down, which uh, they thought when they gave all these tests out that uh, more people would be coming positive because they had the virus, just didn't know it. Well, I mean, with this trend of the, uh, the numbers, it's showing otherwise. So that's a very good positive thing that it's not around in as much as they, they thought. And now on to the TSA fact of the day. Um, I had a question on who is your state advisor? Well, our state advisor is Miss uh, Miss Shipman, and she's a very nice lady, and she is a FFA advisor in, uh, at John Marshall, and she is one of the best state advisors. I've worked really close with her, uh, being a state officer and whatnot, and she just really cares about the program and wants to see it thrive and just grow. So a big thank you to you for keeping West Virginia TSA alive. So I'll see you tomorrow, and thanks for watching.